So today we are exploring the beautiful town of Sedona, Arizona. The first thing on our list is something that I've wanted to do ever since the first time I visited Sedona, and that is to watch the sunrise over Sedona. We're up here by the Sedona airport, which is super tiny, but it's a mesa, and that's what it's referred to as is airport vista. And right now we're in a parking lot that looks like it's $3 to pay. As you're coming up the narrow, windy two-lane road, there is a very small limited parking on the side of the road which looked like they had a little trailhead which would probably be better nature views way to get up to the top to be able to look out over the red rocks but we're in the truck and there wasn't any parking spots available when we left anyway so we're hoping to be able to get out and share with you a time lapse of the sun actually coming over the rocks we were hoping to get out here a little bit earlier but when you looked when we looked online the sunrise was at 6 30 and it's 6 25 now we woke up at 5 and it's just always hard to kind of figure out exact time with traffic and stuff but we're here <laughs> so let's go look That was definitely really cool, worth the driving up here early and sitting out in the wind. It is like 56 degrees and pretty windy. Okay, we're gonna go check out a hike that I've been wanting to do for quite a long time, which is Devil's Bridge, so we're gonna head that way now. Most of the time, whenever we try to get lunch somewhere, we try to get something that's local and unique to the place. I looked up on TripAdvisor as far as like what the best place for breakfast in Sedona was. And of course, that's where everyone was. And because then we, it's the best. Because it's the best. And we looked at what the second best was. And I think Nicole said that the internet was estimating a two hour wait time. I'm not about that. So what we didn't say is we went to Wildflower Bakery, which is a lot like Panera and I think they originated in Arizona. So if they did, then we kind of did something that was unique. Or local. Or local. Ish. That restaurant was by the main strip where all the shops and like the pink Jeep tour kicks off and everything else. Really, really busy. We kind of walked around a little bit and left, but that's not an area that we're going to be visiting in depth this time just because we're trying to be outside and enjoy nature because there's so much beautiful stuff that Sedona has to see and we really want to get out and see that which is why we came up here to the Chapel of the Holy Cross, which you've probably seen pictures of it if you've looked up Sedona on the internet. It's just amazing that they built this church in the side of the mountain. It's really, really busy here <laughs> because it's Sedona and it feels like everybody's out here right now, even though it's almost one o'clock on a Tuesday, but so be it. So we're gonna walk up there and look around and then probably head home. This is really incredible. It's kind of weird filming inside of a church, but everyone else is doing it, so it didn't feel as strange. Reading the kind of the history on the outside, it's really interesting how the concept for the person who designed this, it was from watching the Empire State Building be built in New York City, and then thinking, you know what? I want to build a church that has that awe-inspiring magnitude that a skyscraper does. And I think I saw that it was built for what back then was three hundred thousand dollars is what the total project cost i don't know what that e deal. i don't know what that equates to in, in <laughs> modern currency but it's awesome glad we found parking because that's also another thing as with most things when you're on the side of a mountain it's hard to come by we saw our future home that sits right at the base of the chapel <laughs> we're just working on getting the down payment together that's gonna be wow <laughs> be a little bit <laughs> but today's been really awesome been a lot of beautiful things we've seen probably say pretty and beautiful a lot in this video in particular <laughs> but sedona is just that stunning absolutely 
If you haven't visited Sedona yet, definitely put that on your Southwest United States places to visit. Do some of the touristy things, but don't get so bogged down in all the touristy things. And then, unless that's just your jam, but there's so many hikes and hikes and scenic drives and overlooks and stuff to mm -hmm. check out. But if you recall, we've been up since about five this morning. We did just have lunch and it's time for us to go back to our camper and relax for the rest of the day. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button. Thank you.